Hey, Mr. Sherman here, continuing on with uh, Space Invaders. And a few small things I want to fix from the last video. The first one is we left this enabled invisible. I don't want it enabled or visible on start. And you should also notice when your enemy ship bounces off the walls, it's flipping 180 degrees the other direction. So you uncheck rotates. That should fix it. One more small thing. When I click restart, I don't want my enemy ship to keep moving. I want it to be stopped. So boom. All right. First, I'm going to fix my pause button. I'm going to set up a Boolean just keeping track of if the game is paused or not. So we're not paused on start, so we're going to set it to full. And every time we click pause, we're going to flip whatever this is. So how you do that is you grab the set, and we're simply going to set it to whatever it's not. So if you think about it, the opposite of false is true. The opposite of true is false. And we're going to grab an if statement. And we're going to say if is pause is true, set the speed to zero. Otherwise, set speed to five. All right. Now, the first thing I want to set up is having multiple enemies that will all move when we click start all stop when we click pause and bounce off the wall and move as one functioning unit so i'm going to add a few of these in so i'm going to add three in to be specific and i'm going to set them all 40 uh pixels apart 40 units apart i believe this means pixels units i don't know 40 units apart and that'll make more sense here in a minute. Well, uh, that'll be all more understood here in a minute. And you see, as we do that, it duplicates all these blocks. And that's fine when we only have three of them. But once we have a th hundred, a thousand, five thousand of them, it's too much. So we're going to do something else with this. So I'm going to delete these two for now. And we're actually going to convert this to be generic. So that it works for whenever any enemy ship hits the wall. So the first thing. I don't want... When I click start, only enemy ship one moving. I want them all to move. So what we need to do is we're going to create a list. I'm going to call this enemy list. And we're going to go ahead and put all our enemies in it. One, two, and I'm going to give us her as a third slot. Three. Boom. And what I'm going to say is when I click start, I'm going to cycle through that list. I'm going to look at each thing in my enemy list. And there's two different ways you can do it. You can go down here and grab these generic blocks from down here. Or you can just move these in and convert these to be generic. And I'm going to say, I'm going to set each, not enemy chip one. I'm going to set each item in my enemy list heading in speed to this. And I'm always recommend renaming this each enemy in my enemy list i'm going to do this so now let's convert this one to be generic now so if we right click on this and say make generic it'll convert this to being generic but here's the issue remember our player ship is also an image sprite we don't want weird things happen when our player sh uh, ship hits the edge uh, so what we need to do is every time something reaches the edge we need to check that it was an enemy so i'm going to grab an if block one of these is in list block. And the bonus, the thing that hit the edge. So I'm going to say, was this thing in my enemy list? And if it was, we are going to grab another for each block. Snap all this in. And we're going to say, tell each thing in our enemy list. Tell each item. Each enemy in our enemy list to bounce off the edge and move down boom so now all your enemies should be bouncing off the wall moving down moving side to side as one unit so let's convert our projectile to working regardless of what enemy it hits so now it's, it's actually not far off from what we're doing here in a way so what we're going to say is if our projectile collides with something i'm just going to duplicate this block was other was the thing we hit in our enemy list and if it was, let's convert these to being generic. Tell other, oops, tell other, it's no longer enabled or visible. Tell other, remember the thing we hit 
it's no longer enabled and visible. And now if you're a real big brain, you'll see we need to do something in our restart button now. It's going to be very similar to what we're doing in these actually. So I'm going to very I'm going to grab this for each. And again, for each item in my enemy list. We're going to make generic. Oops, bring that back. Oh, no, it's not going to let me. Uh, I think that was just my speed block. So snap that back in. Zero. So we're going to... Oh, shoot. I grabbed the wrong block. Uh, here we go. Zero. So we're going to make generic. Make generic. Make generic. Make generic. Get rid of all... And say for each item. Boom. Again, enemy. Uh, why'd that do that? For each and I don't know why it's making me name it that there. Whatever. I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. Because what I want to focus on now is this is going to put all my enemies on top of each other. I don't want them on top of each other. I want them spaced 40 units apart like we were saying before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a variable called starting x. And what's our starting x? 80. So I'm going to make sure it's starting at 80. And each time I put the restart button, I'm going to set it to 80. And what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to put it to this variable, 80. Then after I do that once, I'm going to set starting x to starting x plus what was our distance, uh, distance between 40. So what's going to happen? I'm going to hit restart. It's going to set this to 80. It's going to put the first ones x to 80, add 40 to it. Put the next one at 120. Add 40 again. Put the next one to 160. Boom, boom, boom. So we set up what's going to happen when our projectiles hit enemies, when the enemies hit walls, uh, when our projectile, let's fix that, when our projectile hits the wall. All that good stuff. So what I want to do in the next video is I want to set up getting the projectiles to work. Getting getting a player projectiles to work and then getting enemies projectiles to work. So I hope that works. I hope that makes sense. I hope uh, you're enjoying it.